Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today I am so dang excited to share with you a formulation that I have been working on in some sort of shape or form since about 2018. And it is for the long wearing shimmer cream eyeshadow of my dreams. If you want more backstory on this formulation and more information on my formulation decisions, please make sure you're reading the full partner blog post because there's quite a lot there. And if I say it all in this video, this video is going to be really, really long. So that is linked in the description box below. But the general gist of it is that back in 2018, I was working on a all purpose cream cosmetic base and ended up shelving it because the ingredient investment for anybody else to make it was going to be like bonkers and also pretty much solely available out of the United States. So I, I shelved that and then earlier this year, TKB Trading released their Mousse Medium, which is an all purpose like cream and liquid cosmetic base. And I was thrilled when they got in touch and asked if I wanted to play with it. And so when uh, the package from them arrived, the very first thing that I knew I wanted to work on was cream eyeshadow and also cream eyeliner because those are two products that I've just been really, really obsessed with and interested in creating something that is just perfection for for years. So this is TKB's Mousse Medium. It is a relatively thin, hazy liquid and I'm having so much fun playing with it. So this was gifted as was I think pretty much everything else that you see from TKB Trading and this video was gifted. I do shop with them as well. So I'm kind of having a hard time remembering exactly which mica I bought versus which one. Uh, was a gift, but yeah, thank you so much to TKB Trading. This video isn't sponsored. They sent me a box of things to play with and kind of said like, have fun and oh boy, have I had fun. So just as I did in Make It Up, uh, which sort of side note, if you're interested in making makeup, I highly recommend my book, though of course I am a little bit biased. Uh, I'm presenting this project as a base that you can then you know make in a big batch and then just kind of portion off small amounts to make as you know, every color of cream eyeshadow that you can imagine. Something I would really recommend investing in if you like making makeup is a precise scale. So when that is precise to at least two decimal points of a gram, because it doesn't take a lot of makeup to be a lot of makeup. The bulk of this base is TKB's Mousse Medium. So they actually have a project on their website that is, I think just like it's Mousse Medium plus Mica for a liquid eyeshadow, but I wanted something to like thicker and creamier. And so mine is Mousse Medium with a bit of their silicone gel, which adds viscosity, and then a quarter of a percent, which is shockingly important for a quarter of a percent of silicone elastomer, which is a fine white powder that contributes the most wonderful like boosted slip and richness and color payoff and helps kind of bind everything together so we get a nice uniform creamy product. I was initially trying silica dimethyl ciliate to do this job and it kind of made like a cream eyeshadow dough. So I'm not sure how well that'll come across on camera but it's quite fluffy uh, which is kind of neat but when you applied it to the skin it would pill up which was not is awesome. So I switched to the silicon elastomer and it is amazing. It I know it's tempting to not get an ingredient when it's only called for at, at a quarter of a percent, but it is a game changer with this formulation. So please, uh, please don't eliminate it. We're gonna make the base and then you can just store that and have that on hand. And then whenever you want a new cream eyeshadow, you're gonna weigh out 80% of the base and then add 20% mica to that. And then just stir it up. Everything is cold processed. And then voila, you have cream eyeshadow. As always, please make sure you're reading the full partner blog post for this project. There's a lot more information in there. It's quite, quite the doozy of a post. But yeah, let's go make some base and make some cream eyeshadow. And then after that, we'll have a kind of an application demo where I put on the makeup that you're seeing me wear right now. And then I'm gonna check in with you throughout the course of the day so that you can see how well it wears. But yeah, let's go make this cream eyeshadow. I hope you love it as much as I do. We'll begin by making the base for our cream eyeshadow and you'll just need three ingredients. So in this little plastic cup, I've already weighed out the silicone gel, 1.95 grams. To that I'm going to add the silicone elastomer, which is a fine white powder. And that was 0.05 
grams. And then our last ingredient is TKB Trading's Mousse Medium. This is the bulk of the mixture and we're going to need 14 grams of this. So it's those three ingredients combined. We're going to just stir everything together. If you have one of these, this is really useful. It's a Badger Airbrush Co. <laughs> mini mixer. You can see it's got quite a small little head, which is great for blending things together. I've also done plenty of these batches with just a spoon or a small whisk. So if you're going to do that, it's a good idea to pre-disperse or pre-mix the silicon elastomer into the silicon gel before you add the mousse medium. All right, so this is our base. Since I'm going to be using this all straight away, our next step is dividing it up so we can color it in a few different ways. We'll need four different four gram portions of the base and we'll be adding one gram of a blend of micas to each one. So we've got our four little cups here and it is time to start adding color. So our first color blend is going to be this fine gold from TKB Trading and this innocent kiss from Yellow Bee. So kind of a goldy pink blend. I believe both of these micas were gifted. I know the Yellow Bee one was. I'm not sure about the TKB one. I've had it for so long that I, I'm afraid I don't remember. Something I really like about the micas from both of these companies is that both TKB Trading and Yellow Bee guarantee that all of the mica that they sell is made with ethically mined mica, mica that is mined without child labor. Um, I believe they both have statements about this on their website so you can learn more there. But we're going to need one gram mica total for this batch, so that's going to be half a gram of each. That is the base with the added mica. You can see that the mica definitely thickens it up a bit. And uh, I, don't know, I really, really like this color. This was a, a pleasant surprise the first time I made it. I wasn't expecting it to be so wearable with how bright everything uh, was, but I absolutely adore this color. And we'll, we'll swatch everything later, but for now I'm just gonna package this up. I am using this five milliliter doe foot tube from TKB Trading. And this is thick enough that it doesn't really pour terribly well, but I find that with this sort of uh, end of a spoon, I can just kind of put it in here and like wipe it off and that works quite well. One down, three to go. So this next blend is going to be half a gram of each reformulated pink coral from TKB Trading and nearly nude from Yellow Bee. This was gifted, I can't remember if this one was or not. I've had it for a while. This next one is going to be a dark brown one made with Yellow Bee's hot chocolate. This one was also gifted. Last one is going to be a sort of toned down version of the first one that we made. So we've got a slightly more muted gold here, cinnamon sugar from TKB. I believe I bought this one. And cute coral from Yellow Bee, and this was a gift. And we'll be doing half a gram of each of these. Now when you are mixing these together, you wanna to start slow to wet out the mica so it doesn't kind of just poof everywhere. But once everything has wetted out, you can really step up the speed and get everything blended together. Now, if you were doing a lot of these, I think you'd probably want to use like a syringe or a piping bag or something. But uh, I didn't want to lose any cream eyeshadow to sort of another container. And so I've been doing it this way throughout the development process. And uh, you know, it's, it's fine if you're just making these for yourself. The spoon that I'm using is a lab spoon. I believe I got a package of them, I got a set of them 
on Amazon in different lengths, but you know, kind of got a spoony front and a rounded spatula e back. And I have been uh, using these a lot for working on these cream shadows because this and the non spoon end of the spoon is uh, really, really useful. So here are the four cream shadows that we just made, two kind of more browny ones and two more pinky ones. I've been obsessed with pinky eyeshadows uh, lately, so I, I cannot get enough of mixing pinky corally things with other colors and uh, seeing what happens and seeing what I love. So as I was working on developing this formulation, I was working with much tinier batches. So each of these little batches is just one gram. And if you have a scale precise enough to do this, this is a great way to do it because each of these is still like at least 50 applications of cream eyeshadow. So I just got these little labels at the dollar store absolutely ages ago and I write on them with a really fine tipped pen, a 0.25 millimeter pen, uh, and then make sure that, you know, I can tie them back to my notes so I can remake any color blend and then, you know, make sure that the labels don't just completely come off. But yeah, these are little centrifuge tubes. I've linked to them in the blog post, but they're, they've been super useful for my iterating process and uh, are not a terrible way to store cream eyeshadows. It's, it's obviously not super, super elegant, but it is, you know, they seal well, they don't dry out, and uh, you can, you know, just make tons and tons and tons of different colors uh, without, you know, putting a tiny batch into like a really big tube. So yeah, these are, these are really fun if you just want to make a ton of different colors and you've got a, quite a precise scale, just like, it's so fun. All right, so let us swatch these beauties and uh, see, you know, what, they look like. I'm actually just gonna swatch them out of the little mixing cups so that, you know, this the little dregs do get some use. So we'll start with the blend of Nearly Nude and Pink Coral. Up next, we will do the blend of Innocent Kiss and Fine Gold. This hot chocolate one also makes quite a good eyeliner, though I will have a eyeliner specific formulation using the mousse medium coming out soon. And then the last one is our blend of cinnamon sugar and cute coral. Get kind of up close and personal there. You can see that they are really quite pigmented, but they do also sheer out really well and they have quite good play time. Like you, you have quite a bit of working time with these um, to make sure you know you kind of get them where you need it. This, this one here, the first one I applied has definitely started to really set down, but um, I can still, I can still uh, fade it out. So that is how you make the eyeshadows. Make the base and then divide it up and add 20% mica for color. Blend them up, pack them up, and yeah, it's really easy. You can make the base in advance and store it so that uh, you kind of, whenever inspiration strikes, you can whip up a tube of, um, of lovely cream eyeshadow. So now that you know how to do that, our next step is going to be a on eye application demo and then I will check in with you throughout the day so you can see how long and how well it wears. As always, please make sure you're reading the full partner blog post for heaps of extra information. But let's get to the application. All right, so zooming in for a application demo and then a wear test. So it is just shy of 8.30 a.m. as I am filming this and I am definitely still wearing my pajama pants, but I did put on a real shirt for you guys. Uh, but yeah, we are going to put on some cream eyeshadow and then I'm gonna check in with you as the day goes by so that you can see how it does. So these are all of the uh, eyeshadows that I've got on hand to choose from right now. Quite the selection, I made uh, 18 of them a few days ago to play with what to choose. I think I'm gonna try this one, which was a blend of Yellow Bee's Cute Coral and a TKB one that has cinnamon in the name. So I'll set that aside. The first thing I'm going to do is pop on a little bit of eye primer. This one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. It's like 
six dollars um, and works really really well if you don't have really oily eyelids you can probably get away without primer but I have learned from just you know every time I read a review of a product it's like amazing you don't need primer like I always still need primer so I think uh, I probably just have relatively sort of oily eyelids so yes primer is a must and yes also I am going to see if I can turn the mousse medium into an eyeshadow primer as well because that, that sort of that familiar cluster of ingredients is also an eye primer thing so <laughs> all right I'm primed up one eye done. I just changed the camera settings to increase the depth of field here so that hopefully you guys can see a bit better. I was thinking that there's a good chance that a lot of uh, that last shot was probably a little out of focus in some key places. I think I'm gonna grab a darker color as well and just try to put a little bit of depth in the corner of my eyes. So this one is quite a dark brown. It's made entirely with a mica called hot chocolate. Tread carefully here to not accidentally way over apply. I actually used this as an eyeliner a couple days ago and it does reasonably well uh, for that too. I am working on a more purposeful uh, kind of like purpose designed eyeliner formulation using this base, but yeah, these uh, these actually work really quite well just uh, as they are, which is always awesome. So these do blend well with uh, with brushes as well, but I my cream eyeshadow dream has always been like. <laughs> being able to use fingers really well. All right, so there we have it. Like this, it blends so beautifully, guys. Like I'm just, ugh, I absolutely adore adore this stuff. <laughs> I, I really, really hope that you guys end up making this, especially if you, you know, have loved cream eyeshadows or love the idea of something really, you know, quick and, and finger compatible, but have been put off by, you know, the pricing for commercial cream eyeshadows, which I mean, gosh, it's just kind of hard to justify like 20 to $30 per color when you get, you know, an entire palette of powdered eyeshadows for around that price. You know, there we are. I'm going to add a little bit of eyeliner now. This is a bit of a teaser of the eyeliner. Um, whipped this up yesterday and it's been testing really well and it's been quite hot so it's good good testing weather, right? You're making sure to really put it through its pace. <laughs> this brush is from Michaels and I learned about it from a Jamie French tutorial on eyeliner and if you love like winged liner but struggle with making it look the way you'd like it to look. Um, that is also me. Um, that tutorial taught me a lot, so I'll link to it in the description box below, but this was one of the tools she really recommended. And then I also endeavored to make the eyeliner the consistency that she talks about in the video, and I, I'm, I'm pretty excited. All right, I'm going to uh, to call that on the on the eye makeup. Up next, I'll you know go off camera and do the rest of my makeup. But I will be checking in with you guys uh, through the course of the day, so you can see how it wears. So I'll see you in a few hours. All right, checking in at the three hour mark. 
looks good to me. All right, so it's now 2.30, so it has been six hours since I applied, so let's take a look. That still looks awesome to me. Hello, hello, it is 5.30, so it has now been nine hours. Those nine hours passed very quickly for me, but let's take a look. Still looks really good to me. I'm especially thrilled with the eyeliner since it's still on the newer side and it is performing just as well as a previous formulation I had made that performed well but applied really frustratingly. So, yay. I think I'll probably do another check-in at 8.30 for sure, so that'll be 12 hours and then uh, we'll see how late I feel like staying up. Right, so it is right about 8.30, so about 12 hours later. Uh, here we go. So it honestly still looks really good to me. Um, I still haven't taken Lottie for a dog walk. It's just finally getting cool enough for uh, evening dog walks. So I am planning on fitting in another check-in, you know, directly before I'm gonna wash my face and go to bed, but yeah. 12 hours, baby. <laughs> this is the last one. It is just before 11 p.m. So it has been 14 and a half hours and I think this still looks pretty good. Let's take a closer look. I'm, I'm pretty happy about this. I'm really happy with how this formulation performs and I hope that you are just as excited about it as I am. All right, well, that has been how to make some beautiful long wearing shimmer cream eyeshadow using TKB's Mousse Medium. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please make sure you're reading that full partner blog post. You can also look up all the ingredients in the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia to learn more about them. But yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.